All right, so you made it this far. Great. We're finally ready to start writing things. Now, as for now, don't worry about the, the namespaces up here that it's using. This namespace right here, the class, the function right here. We're going to go over all of that. In this episode, we're going to talk about comments. Comments can be used to explain C Sharp code and to make it more readable. It can also be used to prevent execution when testing alternative code. Now, how you would write a comment is just by typing slash slash. And then something like this is a comment. Comments are going to be ignored by the compiler when executing your code. So stuff like here isn't going to run. If I were to write actual code here, like console.write line, and then type something in here, it wouldn't actually execute this line of code. Usually what you use comments for is to explain what code is doing, as I said earlier, or just as notes to yourself. So for instance, let's say I'm building an RPG game. I could write out instructions right here. So like step one, build a character. Now this is what's known as a single line comment. You can also do multi-line comments, which looks like this. And then you can start typing stuff in here. Hello, my name is, etc. Now we can actually use comments to describe what these comments are. We can do like, this is a single line comment. This is a multi-line comment. There we go. Now you can also do things like this. If you want to explain what the function does, you can do three slashes to create a summary. And if I hover over the main function, you can see that it just says inconsistent modifier, etc. However, if I type a summary for the function, like this is a function, and we hover over the function, we can now see that it says this is a function. We're probably going to use comments quite a lot throughout the series. So knowing what they are and how to use them is going to be pretty handy. That's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to go over variables.